Hello guys, we're going to go over a real quick one here on how to freeze uh, columns and also how to add in drop-in list. So if you want a drop-in list, like let's say we have the cookies one again, if you want to just have a drop list of it instead, what you can do is you can click on the row you want, wherever you want, to put a drop down. We can go to data, we can go to data validation, and what we're going to allow is a list. And then we're going to need the source and from which this list is pulled. And for us, that's on sheet 3, B1 through B4. So we're going to pull that up, say OK, and we have our drop down. Now what you can do is just pull that down. And you now can just manually choose whatever you want. What's really cool about this is, uh, you know, you might be able to type in whatever sugar cookie and all that. But if you're making a bunch of questions on Excel, you have questions, you can make a bunch of no, yes questions, and then have your answers be yes, no, or maybe. So I can show you that real quick. Go back to our sheet three here and just, it's real easy. And uh, I don't know if people would use Excel for that, but it is a possibility. So you could save stuff electronically rather than having copies in Microsoft Word or paper. So let's say do do you understand this lesson? Well, looks like it. So this could be your answers over here. So we're gonna go to here. It's gonna click data validation. We're gonna go to list source sheet three F two through F four, and already adds in the uh, dollar signs for you. So don't worry about that. It's really nice. And there you go. You can say maybe. Maybe I understand this lesson. And that's another thing you can use it for. And the one last thing I want to show you is how to freeze frames. If you go to view, we got freeze panes right here. It will give you two default options, freeze top row and freeze first column. So freeze top row. See? See how this one just stays right here? I'm at line 23, but line 1 still shows. So let's say I'd like over 100 entries of these cookies. So let's just boom, take this. All right. So as you can see, I can still see what category I'm in, the name of the cookie I'm in, the quantity, and the cost per unit. So if I ever forget which row is which, it's frozen right across the top. Or you can go to freeze, and you're going to unfreeze that so you can refreeze a new one. So or you can do first column, and as you can see, B just disappeared, but A stayed. So whatever way you set up your sheet, you can do that. Now that only limits you to one in each. So if you want more, let's say we want the first two rows. We have to go to number three. And anything above number three will freeze. I don't really necessarily like that, but that's how it works. And all you have to do is say freeze panes. And now we got the first two tracking. So that's how that works. Like we can compare two to 96. There you go. But if you don't want the first two rows frozen, you want the uh, category name of cookie frozen. Once you go there, freeze panes, and then as you can see, C disappears, but A and B stay. Thank you guys. If you have any other questions or if you want any other videos, please let me know.